Okay, check it out, guys. Uh, I got a new GoPro. Uh, you guys know I'm cheap, so I didn't pay full price for this thing. Uh, I got a Hero 7 Black, found it uh, on Amazon. They call it Renewed, which is actually refurbished, but it does come with the GoPro warranty and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I got the GoPro so I could supplement the uh, video that I normally shoot from my hat cam, guys, when uh, shooting RC cars and truck videos some of the best shots come down from a lower position so my gopro is basic and it only came with two mounting shoes i have the curved one and i have the flat one the gopro case doesn't come with like a three and a half millimeter standard screw that you can just put on any tripod they make you buy the gopro accessories okay so i wanted to mount my gopro to my dumbo receiver so that i can capture some low level uh, not so shaky video or at the same time I want my GoPro to be versatile enough uh, of course I'm going to be putting it on some of my drones in the future but I also want to be able to mount this GoPro onto one of my vehicles and do some ground level shots from the hood or the dash cam as you might call it guys okay so I didn't want to glue it I didn't want to screw it because uh, I only have these two mounting plates and I want my GoPro original equipment to be versatile enough to go and be interchangeable from RC to RC or from transmitter to transmitter. Here's what I came up with, guys. Uh, well, first of all, here you can see I have it mounted to the bottom of the Dumbo right now. And it, it, it's a real nice balance. It feels good. I almost can't tell that the camera's there. But the way I mounted this is with a simple velcro strap let me go ahead and undo the modification <laughs> whoever shows you the mod and then take it apart and show you how they did it the gopro came out of the box with uh its gopro standard case and uh mounting plate right so guys using a piece of packing material that i had laying around the house already uh from uh, some of my drone unboxings, I, I always say uh, the real quality, the good, the real good stuff. But this could be any piece of foam. Uh, it, if you don't have any packing material like this, uh, go steal something from <laughs> from out the kitchen, guys. Okay, uh, with the uh, Velcro strap, preferably one with the uh, tension buckle on it like this, guys. Once you press that GoPro against this foam and tighten that strap as tight as you can get it, it holds on pretty good. Let's go test it out. Before I take it outside and test it, uh, I can use the GoPro app on my phone to preview my shots. And I think I got a pretty good angle. Uh, using as a reference, I got a car about uh, eight feet nine feet away from me and what I'm looking for is to be able to aim the transmitter at the car like a pistol and have the car in the center of my frame that gives me room for margin of error and here's another car that's closer to me I got the Creighton right there if I get the Creighton she's only about three feet away from me a close-up shot I'm chopping off the head of the car, so I got to keep that in mind. And what that is, is uh, the 12 inches or so from the <clears throat> top of the transmitter to the camera hanging low. We'll get, we'll get it. Uh, we'll find the sweet spots, guys. Uh, of course, when I'm driving, I'll have to concentrate on driving. I won't be able to monitor this video. With the, with the app, I can also zoom in and... Uh, allow more space between me and the vehicle but uh bring it in closer for those action shots let's go test it out guys now one thing i'm gonna have to get used to is pointing the transmitter at the car while i drive let me check my zoom I set this up on the app before I stepped outside here. It's just gonna be just a quick short run around my front yard, guys. 
this is something I will have to get used to. Uh, this is not a comfort zone for me pointing transmitter at the car. <laughs> but I do have my hat cam on, so. You see, my comfort zone is dropping the camera at my waist. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way to mount the GoPro on top of the uh, uh, transmitter versus hanging down below the transmitter. The Creighton's running good. I guess this will be good for uh, just some candid action shots like like a jump or some wheelie shots but uh this is hard for me right now but we'll go back in the house and see what the video looks like this is also a good time for me to compare uh my hat cam audio to this new gopro guys thanks for watching it's your boy dj soul force I'm out of here.